Hi everyone, um, just going on uh, what happened at Dooman for MacBet. Um, we had a pretty nice day. Uh, two of our best races, um, they got home. Um, and the two of the best for the weekend, um, uh, they were able to find two winners, or we were able to find two winners for them around the 550 mark and around $2.50 the other one. So it was a very nice uh, weekend. Going back to Doom and um, the first race, what we did here, we, we, um, we were sort of pretty keen to bet against the favourites here in, um, in Rancho Montoya. I thought it was hard to beat, but it was under the odds. Um, and we had it around about the $3 mark, $2.80, $3 mark. So we thought there was some value in a couple of um, roughies in um, uh, Naked and uh, was the other Weekend Saga. Now, both of them were pretty well backed. Maybe not naked, but the one down the bottom weekend saga was. Um, it it it, uh, it had the perfect run. They were both disappointing. I thought. Um, I thought Rancho Montoya was a disappointing. Um, I thought Lo I love Vegas. I was very worried about the position it could get into. I was thinking the race was going to be run fairly slowly, but uh, all of a sudden the pace went on and um, it was able to charge home. It's a horse that's got plenty of scope. It'll get over further. They're going to have some fun with that around the mile mile distance that's for sure race two um, this race was won by Kalama our best bet um, was nice odds around the six dollars uh, it's just it was going to be the perfect horse um, we were worried about the wet if it could handle it but if if it did handle it it'd be winning and um, did a good job the pace of the race wasn't as strong as what it looked um, they looked like they were going very fast, but they weren't. And it was a good win, that horse. And it'll win more races, especially on a dry track um, when it can use the turn of foot that it has. Um, song one, we saved on it. Um, we thought it had a little hope. Uh, we didn't really want it to win because we only saved on it. Um, there was plenty of money for Bon Show. Um, the horse to follow was King's Legend. It went good. It was wide and uh, it's still learning that horse. Um, Another horse we had threw something on was Graceful. We thought it might get into the right position, but it was disappointing, that horse. Um, race three, uh, we backed Darktown Strutter. Um, we were thinking that it would take a sit just behind the good speed, and I was very surprised at the way Collis rode it. He doesn't usually ride him like that. Um, he pushed it out of the gates and he kept going. And uh, there was good speed out wide. He should have been able to just come out let um, let uh, Burn lead on um, on the winner. She's our star, and he would have got a lovely park in behind him. If they went too quick, which it could have happened, with um, the speed out wide with Wonder Boom and everything, it was just going to be ridden. it was going to land in the right spot. And he made the wrong decision by going forward. I I think the horse is definitely better on dry tracks, though. Um, we saved on um, Accelerabrazian, and it ran second at big odds. It was a, a chance, um, but. It, the winner was too good. It had the perfect run. It was well ridden by Byrne. Um, race four, uh, we didn't play here at all. It was just a really good ride by Brown on Get on the gra green, Grange. It had um, it just missed a kick of touch, but it landed in the right spot. The speed was on. He came out um, and didn't look for runs like he usually does. He came out, did the right thing, and it just... Um, it was an okay win. It was nothing out of the box, but because it was everything fell into its hands. Um, race five, uh, we thought we had something on Mr. Epic. We thought it would get the perfect run. Um, we were worried about what the speed was going to be with um, she is what she is and uh, double impact in the race, um, especially because double impact was ridden by Tegan Harrison. She usually likes to lead on these horses. She had no intention to lead, and uh, she is what she is was able to lead. Uh, it didn't have the run, the race run to suit, but it was a perfect example of running them along at their own, by themselves. They can run time, they run sectionals, and they keep going. No, no horse really bothered it and was able to win. It was a very nice win. Lord Coconuts, we threw something on it. Um, you know, these horses just were in the right, right spot, and they just didn't run on. I wouldn't want to be backing. Anything that was behind she is what she is in that race. Race six, um, another race that uh, we threw something on land office. We thought it was able to get across, um, or it would be able to get over to second too wide on the outside of Trevindra, and those two might have been able to dictate. 
and then Morris Constabulary might just find it hard with the big weight to chase the other two. As it turned out, they went quick. Tail event um, just didn't uh, didn't cross. It was it was finding it hard early, and then it had to work, and then it finally got over, but it used too much petrol. And uh, Morris Constabulary was able to sit off them and and win. It was only a fair win. A horse like um, uh, Tail event made up a stack of ground on it, and uh, a lot of those other horses were first up from a spell, so they. They just weren't fit enough. So he was just Johnny on the spot. Um, as I said, tail event made up lengths and lengths on him. And so it just shows that that race is no good. Uh, race seven, um, we threw something on better land. We sort of only had a small bet on this horse just because it. Um, we didn't think it handled the wet. So we were worried about it, but it was gonna land in the right spot. And the way um, we were thinking the race could be run, it should, it should be right there. Um, it was very disappointing, it didn't handle it. Um, Cornrow, same thing, it didn't, doesn't really handle that type of going. Um, we, we didn't back it, but we thought it had a little chance. Um, we thought Tam Rukum was outclassed, and I think it probably was, it had the right run. Bushy, just a perfect track, perfect position. We could have thrown something on it, and we didn't. We're happy to bet against Backslapper. And uh, Riveldor's perfect wet tracker, and it was a wet track, so it, it ran the, the race that you'd expect. Um, race eight, uh, we had a nice result on this with Abaha. We thought it was going to get in the right spot. It was great odds, around 650 mark coming off a run at Ipswich, which it was in the worst part of the track, and it went very good. Great ride by Tegan Harrison. Speed on, come to the outside. Don't be looking for inside runs when the speed's on, as a lot of horses did, and the same... Lloyd got into trouble with that. I don't think he did anything wrong um, because he couldn't come to the outside when he, when he um, would have liked to. So he had to look for runs and they just come back on him. So he was buggered. He, I don't think he would have won, but he would have, um, he would have been you know, in the placings, I would, suggest, I would have thought. He did improve on that run the other day. Um, I thought his run when he won uh, was only just a win, but um, he must have improved a fair bit. I think not in your life. We had at the market, we were worried about the wet track. Um, it ran well. Um, Moonlight Dancer, we had something on it, to, uh, it just for get run. And we had something on Madame de Ban, but it had to work a bit too much from that alley. The last race, um, we are quite happy to bet in this race, um, but we bet backwards and that was a problem because we should have been on the winner. Um, it was a great ride by McGurran. I, I had a bit of luck, speed on, going back to the inside. That was a big problem, but they fanned and they went, ev they went everywhere on the corner. And uh, he was able to get a run through. Um, we thought Kubis needs a dry track and he went good. So he's one to look out for on a drying track. We had something on Runaway Ready, which was disappointing. And we backed Sugan Bugan down the bottom and it went good. Got back in the field, it was suited, um, but the winner just had too good a run through and it couldn't pick it up. So all in all, um, overall, MacBet went really good on the weekend. Uh, we found a few winners. We found a few winners for the new service, um, two for the two of the best. So uh, hopefully um, we can do the same next time. Just remember, betting is believing.